I'm Eric Singer, Gazette.com, and this is Between the Lines. Joining me is education reporter Debbie Kelly with the Gazette. And earlier this week, we had something exciting going on here. The Gazette Roundtable, Women in Leadership in the Pikes Peak Region. That's right. We decided to, uh, with all the talk about Hillary Clinton being the first female to make history as the first presidential nominee of a major party, and with the um, Yahoo sort of uh, failure, I guess, with that female CEO, we decided to bring five women from the Pikes Peak region into the Gazette offices to talk about the topic. Let's listen to one of their comments. Very and, and I see us closing the gap. So I agree with you. It's still, there's still inequity, but we've come so far. So I we have come far, and we look at each mm -hmm. other as mm -hmm. peers. Once again, that was part of the Gazette Roundtable, Women in Leadership, and top takeaways from this, and who did you interview? Sure. We invited Margaret Sabin, who's the uh, head of Penrose St. Francis Health Services, which uh, operates two hospitals here. Kathy Bowe, the uh, founder and CEO of BOCOR, it's a defense contractor. Jill Tiefenthaler, the Colorado College President. Pam shockley Zalabak, the UCCS Chancellor. And Amy Latham, the former county commissioner and now head of uh, Colorado Springs Forward. And um, what the women discussed was about um, are we there yet? Have, have women reached the point where it's no longer um, unusual for a woman to be in the leadership position? And um, they kind of decided we, we are there in some ways and in some ways we're not. Thank you, education reporter Debbie Kelly. And of course, you can read Debbie's story, Gazette Roundtable, Women in Leadership, on Sunday, August 14th, right here in the Gazette and on Gazette.com. With Between the Lines, I'm Eric Singer, Gazette.com.